sound, back to the sound. Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. I know I was being a little extra in the intro, but you guys, I feel like I haven't done anything fun with wigs in such a long time, okay? So that's why I was being all extra. Anyways, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I transformed this, you know, very basic 613 wig into this. Honey, I've been wanting to try this hair look forever, forever. I wanted to try this black highlighted hair look, black blonde highlight, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video. But I was inspired definitely by the early 2000s, some Christina Aguilera, but I didn't want the same exact look that she had. I wanted something, you know, similar. This is just my take on it. And if you guys wanna see how I achieve this hair color, and I promise you, you can do this at home. That's how easy it is. If you wanna see how I achieve it, then please continue to watch. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload a video. And if you are feeling this look, guys, drop me a comment down below and please thumbs up this video. Let's get into it. So I'm starting off with some 613 hair. Well, this is a wig. It's a pre-made wig. You can also use bundles. I'll put all the hair info in the description bar down below. And you guys can go ahead and check it out. This is from a company called Bimp. I don't think I'm saying that correctly, but this is my first time using their wig I've used the bundles, but never the wig so definitely check out other reviews So you're gonna need a bucket and some purple shampoo I'm using shimmer lights because it's my favorite and I'm gonna put it in this bucket right here And you're gonna need some water. I'm not using my drinking water I just want to show you guys my bottle because I'm like trying to be super motivated right now when it comes to drinking my water and minding my business Anywho, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that wig into the purple shampoo and water it doesn't matter if the water is hot or cold it's gonna do its thing so we want it to look like this we want to get rid of the yellow and have it look like this so I'm just toning the hair now the longer you leave the hair in the purple shampoo your hair might come out very very silver so you do have to keep an eye on it I did not leave it in there for no more than probably like five to seven minutes next I'll be using some black bundles and I'm gonna be making it jet black because this is just a now I don't know what I'm doing right here with the hair <laughs> but I'm using adore jet black and we're gonna be doing the watercolor method so now we're using hot water and jet black hair dye and I'm gonna put it into the bucket and I'm gonna put my bundles into the bucket and I'm just going to dye the hair so this process will literally take five minutes super super easy and the reason why I'm dying it jet black because the dark brown I just it's not the look I want I want the hair to be jet black with the blonde I think it's really gonna pop and it's really gonna look good when it's completed now this next part I'm gonna do a light ash brown by ions and I'm doing a number 10 developer I decided that I'm gonna put some roots into this wig you don't have to add roots if you don't want to, but I just feel like for my skin tone, it will just look a lot better with the roots. So I'm using my little edge brush because honestly, I'm not that good when it comes to doing roots. And with the brush, I'm just so heavy handed. So I was like, you know what, let me do the two brush method and hopefully it comes out better. But I find that when the hair is already wet, I do a better job with the roots so I'm gonna leave this on for about I think I left it on for about 20 minutes and this was the end result and honey these roots actually came out good I was feeling it but I wasn't sure of how it was gonna look with the black hair so I was kind of doubting myself right here guys but I'm like whatever I'm gonna put the black hair and see how it looks I'm gonna start off at the back and I'm starting on the second row so I want the blonde hair to be on the bottom and then the black hair to be on top of it and I'm gonna go in with my needle and my weaving thread and start sewing the easier method you could just glue this down with some weave glue that would be the easier method you guys and I don't know why I didn't think to do that well I didn't have any weave glue but once I started sewing I was like wait a minute I could have just glued this down and made my life a lot easier but I was thinking maybe it would get really messy when it's time to remove the glue and especially if I want to remove the tracks later on now the reason why I did not dye the hair black is because black is a hard color to remove and you guys I like to recycle my wigs especially when I have a blonde wig. 
I like to recolor them later on, especially if I get bored of it. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just add some black tracks. And when I'm bored with this hairstyle, I can take out the black tracks and then do something else with the blonde hair. So right now I'm just making very tiny stitch. Well, not tiny because they're not super perfect. No one can see them and the hair is gonna be covering it up. And I'm just doing it row by row. It's up to you how much black hair you wanna add, but I add quite a bit. And again, I just added the blonde, I added the black and then the blonde on top to cover it to give it that highlighted look. I hope I'm explaining this all correctly for you guys. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I switched my thread. I was using blonde thread before, but now that I'm getting closer to the top, I'm like, you know what? It's probably better if I use the black thread because you won't notice it as much. And right now, I have to try the wig on just to see where I want to put the black highlight. So today, I decided to do a side part. Originally, I was going to do a middle part, but then I was like, you know what? I'm a side part kind of girl, and I just want to do a side part with this wig. So I'm going to go ahead and start parting sections on the lace on the front. And when you're doing this part, you have to be like very careful because you can't bring the tracks too close to the front because if you bring them too close to the front, then you will not be able to comb your wig properly and you're going to see the tracks showing. So you got to bring them back like two inches back. Hopefully that makes sense. So not at the very front and I'm using the black thread and just making my stitch and just making sure that they are super, super flat. So as you can see, I can pull the hair behind my ear if I wanted to pull my hair behind my ear and not worry about my tracks showing at all. And again, I'm just placing the track on the lace and I'm just making sure that it's about an inch or two away from that hairline and making small, small stitch so they're nice and flat and not bulky because we don't want a bulky wig. And as you can see, like it looks really, really good. I'm loving how it's looking right now. And I'm just repeating the same steps on the other side as well. And you guys, I added some more hair in the very back of the wig because I just feel like the blonde was just way too much blonde. I wanted more black. I wanted it to have a really nice highlighted look. And honey, this is the end result. Like, she looks amazing. Amazing. I love it. I think this might be one of my favorite wigs. The lace on this wig is super white, so I do have to tint it to match my skin tone so when I apply the wig, it melts down perfectly. I'm using the Wig Guru's lace tint, and yes, honey, let's put this wig on. So I'm just trying on my wig right now, and yes, right now the lace looks a little bit darker than my skin, but don't worry about that. When I put my makeup on, it'll match perfectly. So I'm going to cut the sides off right now because they got to go. I don't need all this extra lace. And yes, I was getting my life. I was literally getting my life because I was very impressed with how it turned out. And I'm using some uh, hair wax. So this is gonna help to get rid of the frizzies. And I'm gonna go in with my hot comb as well. So I'm gonna start making my cuts on the lace. And you guys see me doing this before. I'm using the bold hole lace glue and I use about two layers of glue. So this is the first layer. I apply it to my forehead area. You also wanna use the lace glue protector from bold hole, that's the one I use. So I used it before and then I apply the glue. So once the glue has dried clear, we're gonna go in with the blow dryer and melt down that lace and cut off all that extra lace that we don't need. And I'm also using my scissors as well to go in and cut the lace because I can get really, really close to the hairline like that. I use the eyebrow razor and the scissors. And you guys, you wanna make sure that you are blow drying on a cool setting. And honey, she's looking pretty good. This lace, even though it's transparent, it looks really good. So I'm just gonna do the sides now. And like I said, I do have very, very detailed videos on applying my wigs. So I will list one of those videos in the description bar down below. That way, if you are new here, you can see a more detailed video on wig application. I know I'm kind of speeding this part up, but this video is mainly about the hair transformation, not so much about the application of the wig. And I'm just repeating the same steps on the other side, applying the glue, waiting for it to dry clear, and then apply the lace and melt it down. And we're just gonna speed through this. So I stepped off camera, I did my makeup, and now I'm back. I couldn't really decide on clothing, so you will see my clothes change throughout this video. Now guys, this is how the ends of the hair is looking. I know, it's looking a little raggedy. So I'm gonna go in with my, uh, what do you call this comb? 
oh my gosh i don't remember the name of this and can you guys tell i'm not a professional i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but anyways yes i think it's called a sharing comb and i'm gonna go in with the sharing comb and cut some layers into the wig once i cut the layers into the wig and i'm happy with the layers i'm gonna go in with my flat iron and i'm gonna start curling it under i kind of want to have that 90s you know 90s layers 90s curl i've been loving the 90s layers a lot like loving them i used to wear them back in the day anyways i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side as well and this is how the ends are looking she is looking so much better i am here for this wig like she was giving me life like i'm honestly guys i filmed this video like three days ago i still have the wig on because honey i'm literally feeling her i'm getting my entire life and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys learned something from it. I hope it was helpful. If you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you guys so much. And thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Bye.